You're watching WGOL Channel 7 News. I'm Mose Delane Belton, and today is Sunday, November 29th, 2020. Good morning, Gola. Today in history, November the 29th, Adam Clayton Powell Jr. was born. He was a politician and a civil rights leader. He was born in 1908. And in 1955, Alice Childress became the first African-American woman to win the Obie Award for her play, Trouble in Mind. And then in 1976, our beloved Chadwick Boseman, the Eternal Black Panther, was born. Today, November the 29th, in history. Now for your weekend review. On Sunday, we will have Bible study at 9.15 via conference call with Dr. Cynthia Williams brown At 11 a.m., we'll have service with Pastor Banks via Facebook Live. At 11.15, the youth will have it via Zoom. On Monday, we'll have prayer and conversation with Pastor Banks at 7 p.m. On Wednesday at noon, Bible study with Pastor Banks. And at 6.30 p.m. with Brother Brian Mills, both via Facebook Live. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Happy birthday to Nicole Sawyer, Brandy Hunter, and Harvey Sutton. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. In the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. This has been Mo's Motivational Moment.
first chapter, verses 26 through 37. The gospel according to Luke, the first chapter, verses 26 through 37. Uh, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town of Galilee, to a virgin place to be married to a man named Joseph. A descendant of David, the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Yes. Mary, you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, King, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked. The angel says, I am a virgin. The angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, and the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us. On this the first Sunday morning in Advent, we light the purple candle that represents hope. And God knows we need hope in times like this. The hope of Christ coming into the world. Isaiah 9 says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light, and those living in the land of deep darkness of light has gone. For us, to us a child is born and a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Prince of Peace, and of his greatness, of his government and peace, though you know him. He will reign on David strong, and it's over his kingdom and establishing it in with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. And the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Let us pray, Lord, we thank you that in a season of life that we are challenged with coronavirus and we're challenged with uh, political uh, turmoil. We thank you, God, that we can celebrate hope, the hope of Christ who came into the world born as a baby to die for our sins. The hope of the world. Hope. Lord, we thank you. Joy to the world the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. In heaven and nature sing. In heaven and nature sing. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Our Father who is out in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and forever. Amen. Amen. On this first Sunday of Advent, I want to speak to you from the topic very briefly. All things are possible with God. All right. Come now, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Dove. Can the fire of sacred love in these souls of ours in Jesus' name. Amen. All things are possible with God. You ought to say that to yourself this morning. All things are possible with God. Advent is about the greatest miracle in human history. Elizabeth and Mary discovered that God can make the impossible possible for themselves. Both women seemed to be in situations that looked bleak. Elizabeth in her old age and Mary being a virgin. How could either bear a child? But God had already ordained it and it was in the plan. You see, when God has listened to me carefully this morning, when God has something for you, God has already established it and put it in motion before you receive it. it, it, it it's already in the spiritual before it manifests itself in the natural. I keep trying to tell you all that. Elizabeth was to bear a child named John, and her cousin was to bear a child named Jesus, the Savior of the world. It was already done before it got there, before it came to fruition in the natural. God had already established it, and even before they were notified of the plans, it was already in the works. And then after God establishes something, God always sends confirmation of the plan. In each one of these episodes, these cases, God sent confirmation by one of his angels, the archangel Gabriel, the messenger angel. And when God has a blessing for God's people, God will always send confirmation. Uh, yet all that God does for us, some of 
you shop online this year. Uh, point number one, all things are possible with God, even though your situation may look bleak. All things are possible with God, even though your situation may look bleak. The question this morning is, why do we doubt God's promises? Look at the story. Zachariah and Joseph both doubted God. Zachariah could not believe that his wife could bear a child. And likewise, Joseph was weary of his wife, thinking that she was a virgin. How could she be with child?
they would have seen that God is who God said God is. I believe if they would have looked back and read the creation story, they would have read that God made man and woman out of dust. And they were not the doubting God. I believe they come back and read what a read what a Lord made and rain 40 days and 40 nights cleansing the earth. They wouldn't have doubted God. Sometimes when you get that doubt in spirit, you gotta look back. Viva! 
just from their experience, but from our own experience, from our own lives, that nothing is impossible with through God. Now, Lord, I pray that you bless someone out of that day that doesn't know you. On this first Sunday, if they don't know you, I pray that they'll find you. I pray that they'll say, Lord, what must I do to know this, this Jesus? What must I do to be born again? Greatest Christmas present you can give yourself is to give yourself to God. And then, Lord, those who are saved, I pray that their minds will be renewed, that they won't be caught up in petty arguments or meaningless minutia, but they'll fix their eyes and not be selfish. They'll fix their eyes on you, the author and finisher of their faith. So, Lord, I give you the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.